Can we talk about UPS for a second? Because uh, they're reporting earlier this morning, and that stock right now, let's take a look at where we sit with that. Uh, Frank Holland, by the way, uh, joins us now with more on the quarter. Stock down about 1.5%. Yeah, absolutely, Andrew. You know, UPS shares lower after a beat on revenue and EPS. The company also announcing plans to increase its share repurchase plan from $2 billion to $3 billion this fiscal year. Shares briefly turning positive before negative, as you can see now. So a few investor and analyst concerns, they were realized to a certain degree this quarter. It's U.S. domestic business, which is really the bread and the butter of this company. That beat estimates, but... International missed slightly the same for supply chain and freight. That last segment, supply chain and freight, that was actually a strength for rival FedEx last quarter. So kind of an interesting dynamic showing some of the differences between the two companies. The big similarity here is that UPS, along with FedEx, is also retaining pricing power. Revenue per piece up 12 percent overall. Same number here in the U.S., international with even more growth despite the rising dollar this quarter and recession concerns in Europe but UPS is seeing a slowdown in volumes. Overall volume down 5%, U.S. volume down 4%, really kind of speaking to the shift from goods to services that we see a lot of people talking about. Of course, UPS seeing a big B2C delivery boom during the pandemic. Investors apparently just kind of digesting with the results and UPS reaffirming full-year guidance means for the stock, both UPS and FedEx underperforming the S&P so far this quarter.